Um, yeah, my game engine, the Untold engine, ended up getting me a new job. I guess, you know, it would be a good thing for me to share with you my story, how everything began, um, all the way back to 2013, so you know how, you know, what really happened along the way. Well, basically, in 2013, um, I was not happy with myself. I was going through some stuff. Um, and I was feeling down, uh, you know, depressed. Um, and one particular, uh, you know, morning, um, I woke up and I told myself that I was going to do something beyond my reach. Something that it was so impossible for me to do um, that that probability of me um, not succeeding were going to be very high. And I cannot really explain to you how this ne next thought came to be. Uh, but what came to my mind was this, that I was going to develop a game engine. I just chose that topic, game engine. I don't know where that came from um, because I was not really into game engines by, you know, during that time. Um, I knew nothing about Unity. Actually, I never heard of Unity, Unreal, Godot. I had to use uh, Cocos 2D uh, to do like, you know, those, you know, weekend games that, you know, we tend to do it for fun. Uh, but nothing big, uh, per se. So I was not really into the whole game engine, you know, ecosystem and how they all work. None, none, none whatsoever. To the point that I can uh, say that I did not know, for example, I could not have told you what's the difference between a uniform and an attribute when it comes to OpenGL. That's how little I also knew about OpenGL. But I was, like, I knew nothing, basically. So... Um, that thought of making a game engine showed up in my head without me even knowing what the heck a game engine really does, right? Um, nonetheless, I went on, you know, on on um on Amazon that morning and I bought some books on on computer graphics such as OpenGL and some linear algebra books. And for the next six months, guys, I'm kidding you not, I, I read a lot. Um, I would wake up at 5 a.m. and basically read from 5 a.m. to 8.30 um, and then get ready, go to work. Um, I would do that until noon. Then I would read really quick in my cubicle and then head to Starbucks so I can get some reading done. Then I uh, would go back to work at one, then leave at five, and then from five, you know, to seven, I would go play soccer. Uh, but from seven to, let's say, you know, you know midnight, um, I would read some more. And I would do that every single day. And my weekends, they were even more intense because I would, again, wake up at five. Would like basically, you know, if, if I didn't have a game that day, I would basically read from 5 a.m. all the way to 9 p.m. And I kid you not, you may, you may be thinking that I'm crazy. Yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, because I really... I was very focused on what, on what I wanted to do. And so that I would do that from Saturday and Sunday, nonstop. So um, by the time that I was ready to actually start developing the game engine, you know, um, I did a lot of mistakes in the initial phases of, na of the game engine. Nonetheless, my schedule stayed the same. I would work a lot on it. And I was finally able to get my en engine up and running after three years of work. Um, and this was a really basic game, you know, game engine. Um, a lot of features were missing from it. Um, nonetheless, um, you know, I was very excited when it actually worked. Um, and along the way, I also decided to share everything that I was learning um, on my blog. Um, and you know, I would get many messages from people, uh, people who were very supportive. You know, they were cheering me on, uh, and and I would also get messages from people who were not so kind at all. And I do not know why, because I didn't really, you know, I don't know why they were not, I don't know. <laughs> um, and so many of those messages were like, hey, you know, you are just wasting your time. Uh, do something more productive. Uh, uh, you know, they were saying, how can I even think that I will be able to compete against Unity or Unreal? Uh, or why would people use my game engine? Um, the ba basic theme of all of this was like, since I am not making any money from this, why am I wasting my time doing it? Um, and I do see where they're coming from, but this activity that I, ha that I was doing was no longer about making money. It was something that had given me p 
peace, you know, without even me realizing it, that it was doing that for me. Um, because I didn't start developing a game engine because I loved game engines. I actually fell in love with game engine development throughout the process. Um, it was not something that I was even expecting. I mean, it just came to be, it just came. I don't know how to explain this. Um, well, um, you know, after the three years of, of work, you know, I kept working on my game engine and I keep doing that, you know, for nine years now. Now, not, not as intense uh, because my, you know, life situation changed, but I, uh, but I do code every day. Um, I try to at least code like one or two hours a day, uh, you know, as much as I can. Um, well, throughout this whole time, you know, I had given up on the idea that I would ever work as a render engineer. Um, you know, and I was, I have to say, you know, that I was very happy at my previous company. I enjoyed my, you know, my teammates and working with them. Um, but all of a sudden, uh, a couple of months ago, I received uh, an email uh, from this company uh, who had seen my YouTube videos and who had taken a look at my game engine and they, and they needed my help. And so I offered to help them as a contractor building their tools. In, and then they offered me a job to work for them, you know, full time. So I officially became an employee uh, of them um, like about three weeks ago. And at that moment when that happened, I'm gonna be honest, more than excited, I actually felt blessed. Uh, blessed for everything that had happened in my life. Uh, because to me and to my family, this was like a gift sent from above. Uh, you know, I was given the opportunity to actually get paid for something that I was doing literally for free for the past nine years. And I was doing it for free because I fell in love with it. Um, but now I was given this great op opportunity that I will be able to work on what I love to do full time um, and actually, you know, get paid for that. Um, and I don't know how to explain this, but that that day felt like a very blissful day. Um, so yes, I was excited, but more than happy and excited and, 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 and jumping up and down. Or what I said was, thank you, God. Thank you. Um, I could not even explain it, but I just felt so blessed for everything. Um, and, you know, looking back, uh, you know, I, I, I realized why so many things happened along that way. Um, but, you know, and I guess I want to share two things that I learned uh, with you guys, if you are in my situation, you know, if you are in this situation where you're developing something and you don't know where, where this is taking you um, or what's gonna, ever gonna happen. Um, the two things that I learned were, you know, were this, the key to success depends on, on, two, on, two, on two qualities of a person. Being consistent, meaning showing up and do your work, do your task, do what you set forth in doing. And number two, persevere through your obstacles. Um, you have a problem, you don't complain about the problem. You find a solution to the problem. You have obstacles, you remove them. You have barriers, you find a way around the barriers. But you just don't throw the towel when things get tough. And I'm sure that you knew uh, that those two qualities are very important because I also knew them. But one thing is knowing about them and the other thing is actually um, experiencing them, right? Um, because game engine development actually forced me to be consistent. Uh, game engine development actually forced me to persevere through the problems. Um, again, one thing is hearing about them and knowing, yeah, those are the keys to success. But another thing is for you to put yourself in that situation where you actually get to experience what does it mean to be consistent? What does it mean to show up every day at 5 a.m. and code for an hour before heading to work? What does it mean to persevere through a problem for like three months and not being able to find a solution, but here you are still at it, trying to find a solution until you finally find it? 
Those are two different things. And game engine development gave me the opportunity to actually experience the keys to success. And I'm very thankful for that. So I guess that, you know, the whole purpose of why I'm, I'm, I'm making this video is to share with you the good news. And number two is to, 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 to say how thankful I am for everything that had happened to me. Uh, because I know that not everybody has the same opportunities that I have. Um, I was born in Ecuador. Uh, I grew up poor. Um, and I know what it feels not to have things. Um, you know, and I was given the opportunity to come to the U.S. and you know, and I took advantage of, of the opportunity that was given to me. Uh, and now, you know, I have a, a good job. I can buy any computer that I want and, and have that time to actually focus on what I want to do. So I'm very thankful for it because what I've been given is is something that I know that everybody has that opportunity. And I'm also th very thankful. Uh, what happened, right? I was given this opportunity to actually work on something that I have wanted to work. But again, I was actually working on it for nine years for free. And now I have this and, you know, this opportunity. Um, and, and yeah. So um, thank you guys. You know, thank you for all of your support. Thank you for, you know, to so, so the subscribers. Thank you for you watching this video if you're new to this uh, channel. Thank you for, for everybody in my Discord server. But thank you for, for everything. Um, and I do want to say something to, to everybody who, who sent me those uh, mean negative messages. Uh, look, um, you are wrong and you were wrong. Um, those nine years that I supposedly wasted um, you know, doing something unproductive, such as developing my own game engine, were not unproductive at all. They were actually preparing me for this because when the opportunity knocked, I was ready for it. And to you guys who are working on your game engines or developing whatever other applications that may seem very, you know, impossible to reach, right? Um, don't give up, um, keep at it. Um, learn to be consistent, show up every single day, and persevere through the problems. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also join my Discord server. And I'll see you guys next time.